Hey, hi, hello. This is the second time I've tried recording this because the first time I was interrupted. So I'll probably be interrupted again. Um, today is the February um, of the end. And uh, this is the February update. If you don't know, this is where I show my anime, manga, and video games. Except this month, there is no manga. I wasn't... <sighs> I spent a lot of money on things I'm getting next, uh, actually next week almost, if I'm lucky. Um, if you don't know, gaming, I'm not going to say it because I might make a separate video, but if you're in the whole gaming thing, there might be uh, something to do with next gen that I'm getting, and some games. Uh, so yes, so the manga, uh, a little expensive for things, so I'm like, well, I'll leave it to the side. There's a whole bunch of titles I'll need, which will be probably maybe next month if I'm lucky. So, it is video games and anime. Most of it is video games. Now, I don't know what has been happening, but I get into these weird stump mood things where I'm like, one month I'll be really into games, or one month I'll be really into manga, or one month I'll be really into anime, and I'll just buy all that. You can tell it's anime this month. Uh, sorry, manga. Uh, ah, games! Video games! This month. No editing. Screw it! I'm going live! So... One game is actually super, super important, but we'll talk about that one in, uh, later. First, we'll talk about the two Vita games I got. And we're going to talk them pretty much at the same time. And that is uh, Gravity Rush. First, I'll actually talk about this real fast alone because my stand, I just realized, can only hold one game. Um, Gravity Rush is a PS Vita game. Actually, if I'm right, I actually might still have it in my Vita. Uh, let me just turn it on. Do I still have it on? Oh, my battery's about to die. But it's a PS Vita game, um, where you basically play as a girl who wakes up, not remembering, oh my god, my screen's dirty, not remembering anything, and all she knows is she has a little cat that can control gravity. Uh, so it looks like you're flying, except you're not, oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> That's why things are happening. But uh, she controls gravity, so everywhere she's falling. Um, people actually think she's flying, but no, no, everywhere she is falling. Now you can use the ability to go anywhere you need to around the map, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's made by two companies, I believe. I believe Atlas helped make it. Uh, you can tell because the character designs look like every single Atlas game for the past like 20 years. Um, but the art style and direction kind of looks like uh, the Team Ico. And I think the reason for that is because Team Ico, uh, if you don't know, they make Ico and Child of the Colossus. They, I believe, work in Sony Japan, uh, like the actual gaming builder group of Sony. Um, and I think that's why it looks like it, because it, it really does look like Persona just mixed with Ico. And it kind of has the same kind of music and everything. And for a Vita game, it's quite good. Does it need to be on Vita? Not necessarily. Um, I can't think of any touch controls that are like so you need touch controls for this section. I don't remember anyways because I haven't played it for a little while. But otherwise, it's a really good Vita game. It's like 15 bucks. Go pick it up if you have a Vita. Uh, there's no really excuse not to. It's cheap enough and it's an exclusive title. Now the next game... Uh, now, if you ever want to know about me and beating games, you can actually hit my Facebook page, which should be in the description, where I say stuff I've beat and talk about random crap on my Facebook page. And if you have questions, there is great to answer, too. And I talk about how, uh, when I beat a game, if I like it and all that junk, this game is one of those games. Touch My Katamari. I beat this game. In an hour and a half. Um, I don't know what... Why? Uh, okay, so if you don't know, Kenamari, uh, basically, you're a little dude, a prince, who can push this little ball called a Katamari, I believe, and the ball gets bigger, and it consumes, and consumes, and consumes, and consumes the planet of everything until the planet is gone, and the galaxies are gone, and the stars are gone, and the dogs are gone, and this game is the portable version. Which looks very nice, you know, it's nice to see a Katamari game, HD, widescreen, blah 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 blah. Um, except, it being only an hour and a half, really, really hurts. 
And um, there's no sucking up planets in this one. There's no sucking up galaxies in this one. None of that. And you're probably thinking, okay, whatever, it's a handheld game. You shouldn't complain that much. Here is why I'm a little mad. The entire game is a self-commentary on the Katamari series. Now, I should say, this is the first Katamari game I've played. But I know of the other ones. And I know how some of them have been really good. And then a lot of them have been shit. This game even... And as soon as I said, the, how are you still recording, it cut. So, back to what I was saying. The whole game is a self-commentary on how the Katamari series has been kind of lacking and failing as a franchise. And how the king has gotten to be a lazy slob because you're the prince and you work for the king. And you being the prince, have to go out there and make the king look great. And the game wasn't really, like, they try to make it sound like this will be the revival of the Katamari series. It's a self-commentary on that. And it was just an hour and a half? Like, what? Um, now, truthfully, when you beat the game, uh, you unlock a, every time you beat a level, you unlock uh, candies. And from those candies, you can buy costumes and you can buy um, level modes and those modes are basically uh, no time limit so you can do whatever you want until you want to quit and whenever you grab as much as you can you quit and you get the high star point blah 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 and the other one is turbo mode which is the same amount of time except you're super fast so it's like hey let's take one level and turn it into three okay um i don't know it's just it's not a bad game, but I'm pretty sure they probably wanted around 40 plus bucks for it originally when it was released. And those people would have been ripped off, unless they're a huge fan. Now, otherwise, I got this for 20 bucks, and even in my beat, now I have, I did put over five hours in it, I did go do everything. But, for someone who just plays a uh, main campaign for games, so, because they don't have time, this is not worth your money. Gravity Rush is. So! Go get Gravity Rush if you have a Vita and you're still listening to me ranting about nothing. Um, yes. Now, um, I'll talk about this game next uh, because I barely played it. Because the other two I've played a lot of. So we'll just talk about this one real fast. And that is the Project Exxon uh, for the Nintendo 3DS. This is the limited edition of it. Now, if you don't know, Project Exxon is a sequel to Capcom... Capcom vs. Namco? Capcom Cross Namco? Cross Namco, I think, makes more sense. Uh, and what it was was a tactical RPG like Final Fantasy Tactics, except with Namco characters and Capcom characters. And this is the sequel. Now, you're probably thinking, I've never heard of that game before. Uh, it never came out down here. You can get the, uh, if you go import the PS2 game, you can get in a uh, translation patch if you rip the game to your computer and play it. And yes, I'm saying that because I don't support other things. You should know that. And this is the sequel. And I've only played like an hour, if that, because I got a much, much better game after this. Not saying this is bad, except the next game is much, much more important, I believe. Now, this is the limited edition version, uh, which I was not expecting. It's in rough condition, but I got it for 19 bucks, the same price as the normal one. And I wasn't expecting it, so whatever. Um, let's open her up. I'll just show you inside here. So it comes with a soundtrack, which I have not listened to, uh, but I'm assuming it just comes with all the different tracks, uh, with everything. Anything interesting? Like you got a uh, oh Namco X Capcom is a track. Tekken. Um, oh, that's interesting. So it has a bunch of different tracks from their games, and it even has Namco track from the original game, but then it has its own original music from Project X Zone. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then you got the um, ARPS book, which is a joke. It's just it's just a couple pictures. Um, then you have the poster, which is kind of cool, but it's also kind of a joke because it's really, really small, but whatever. You know, bah, 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 Project X is only. Looks nice, but I will never put it on a wall because this kind of stuff should be put away. And Project X on, which the actual cartridge is on me bed because I. And it has gum on it. No, it wasn't. Never mind. That was flop. I was. I was in shock. I'm like, I'm not like one of those five year old kids who put gum on their games or somehow spill a soda drink. I say soda because I'm Canadian and I want to appeal to my American audience. Um. <laughs> And you Germans too. 
because I heard there was Germans. But um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, I don't know. Kids, games, whatever. So this game, uh, if you like tactic games like Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, go get it. It has the tactics thing, but the battle systems are like uh, the uh, versus games, kind of. It's very interesting. Uh, if you like Capcom, whatever, you know, go get it. Not super important for a 3DS owner. Now, the next two games are really important. Well, I know they're not. One of them is really important. I actually put photos on my Facebook page of this next game. Okay, so if you don't know, uh, and you're new to this, my channel, and how are you, you should subscribe. Uh, <laughs> I really, really like One Piece. So, a couple months back, almost half a year now it feels like, I heard about a One Piece game being released in English for the 3DS. Only issue was, they weren't doing, they, they did not plan on a physical release. About a month or so before the release, they went, okay, we're going to release a physical release at GameStop, which is the American EB Games if you're Canadian. Um, very limited. We probably won't even go for it. So I walk, I'll just put it down here, I walk into my local EB Games, which is Canadian, and I'm like, hi, um, and I worded it so weirdly. I was like, so, uh, I heard about a game coming out for the 3DS that is like really hard to get and it was limited uh, and it has One Piece in the name <laughs> and they're like yeah I'm like by any chance did you guys get a copy and I'm just gonna take a real a quick drink of me Kool-Aid type stuff here and I'm like D did you guys um get any copies and they're like well we did and I'm like oh, what and they're like but it's been discontinued. And I'm like, what do you mean it's been discontinued? And they're like, well, the game was released yesterday. And this is not yesterday and when you're watching this, but when the conversation started. And uh, another game called Bravely Default came out. So no one even knew about this game. And it was also in limited quality or quantity. And they no one bought it. And it was already being recalled. And I'm like, what? This might not be the fact for American EB Games. This is just just what I've heard. And I was like, wow. I'm like, huh. And the, and the guy just looks at me. And he's like, yeah. Yeah. And the other guy goes, well, we might have one in this cupboard here. And the other guy's like, well, maybe. And then the guy's looking. They're looking. They're like, no, nah, I don't think we do. Because I think we only got one copy in. And we weren't even supposed to get it. And I'm like, damn. And they're like, well, wait. And they go over <laughs> to like the back room and they just come out with it and they're like here you go and I'm like are you serious and they're like yeah why not and I'm like okay sweet now you're probably thinking okay what is so special about this One Piece game uh it's a One Piece RPG it's turn based it's fun it's like the it's like uh the Tales series except I call it Tales Light because all the cutscenes are like um visual novels which can be really really shitty um and uh, for an, a random RPG liker, lover, whatever, the game isn't really that great. But for a One Piece fan, this is fan fucking tastic. Sorry for the language. But the reason this is important, this was very limited and not released in quantity, quality. Ah, words. Sorry. <laughs> um, so they numbered them. Yes, this was so limited that they numbered the game. I have copy. Uh. 4,320 out of 16,800. There was only 16,800 English, American, Canadian releases of this game. That is like, that is smaller than the small town I live in. Like that is ridiculous. Uh, if the guy had another one and I knew about this, I would have bought in both of them. But um, yeah, I'm super happy to have it. It's very limited. Pro and it, it, I, I would bet money in, in a, a couple years, not even, this will be worth, I think it's already going over a hundred bucks on eBay. It's only been out for a couple weeks. Um, this will probably be my, my most expensive One Piece thing. And it's also probably going to be my most expensive uh, 3DS game and might become my most rarest game. Probably not because I have a few pretty big games. 
Um, now let's actually talk about the gameplay real fast because this is the one big thing I want to talk about this month. Um, okay, so it starts from the beginning all the way up. I believe I haven't beat it until New World. I've put in over, I think over 20 hours and I'm hitting Alabasta right now. Uh, which should tell you a lot. Now, truthfully, I have done a lot of grinding. Alabaster, you're only supposed to be at ni level 19, and I'm level like 30 something. So, I grinded a lot on my spare time when I'm just watching videos or whatever. I'm just like, it's like a zombie just playing it. Um, and uh, the gameplay is you uh, you run around until you see enemies in the field or enemies in the world. You fight the enemies in a Tales of type series, basically kind of like a it's a turn based except you can choose the angle of your fight. Now I'm in the middle of a cutscene right now, so I can't really show you the gameplay, but here's the cutscenes. The whole game is cutscene until you get down to the action elements where it's run around in a, in a basically a hallway, mazed hallway, fight the enemies, kill the enemies, and then go to the next stage and then next stage until you get into another cutscenes like this. The gameplay is pretty crappy. Uh, on like a game, on a gameplay like, status this game isn't that great i think the ratings of this game has been like 1.5 out of 5 or out of 10 in some cases the ratings have been awful this is how the cutscenes go they're just little pictures and talking and talking still pictures no audio kind of really 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 um lazy in my opinion but this game was a psp game that was made kind of a couple years back and a lot of people um I guess played it back when it was on that. I'm going to take another sip of drink. But for a One Piece game, it's really awesome. It's not the best One Piece game. Uh, I think the best one is the one on the the Wii, I believe. That's also super rare. Um, and I think there's some PS3 ones that are pretty good. But this one, for a handheld in English, it's really good. If you like One Piece, I believe it's on the digital download store. And I recommend going to go check it out. And if you can find a physical copy like this, then pick it up. I think, that, now, there's been rumors that they're going to do a re-release that isn't the shiny cover. And the shiny covers are what's the rare thing. I don't know. There's been a lot of talks. It's been getting confusing for everybody. But I recommend that game highly. Uh, so, yes. Now, the last game here, right before we get to the two anime and the end of the video, uh, is Metal Gear Rising. A game that was, like, panned, is that the word, from people, um, being complete crap, a lot of people said. Uh, now, for me, I've been playing Metal Gear Solid for years and years and years uh, from the first one, naturally. Uh, and this game is awesome. Uh, <laughs> now, a lot of people have been like, this is the worst Metal Gear game. It's so bad. It's not really a Metal Gear game. It is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Um, if you like games like Bayonetta or Devil May Cry or those crazy slash beat 'em up type games with just the crazy combos and cutscenes, imagine Kojima's weird, wacky humor just turned into a hack and slash. That's what this is. Um, now, I beat the game in 5 hours and 30 minutes. I posted my time on my Facebook. I don't know exactly what it was. And uh, there is, I think, a new game plus where you, uh, after you beat the game, you get a special sword, then you can go again. I'm assuming there's going to be more and more unlockables if you play the game in different ways or really fast or however you do it. I'm assuming there's more unlockables. Um... The old beta trailers, if you saw this game back when it was originally going to be released, the game is completely different. The engine isn't as uh, defined, re redefined, uh, whatever the word is. It's not as precise as they made it look years ago. Um, it's still really nice to look at on the PS3. It looks great on the PS3. Uh, it does that whole thing that Metal Gear and the Fox engine has done where it will randomly run like at 60 frames in cutscenes. And it's like, what the hell? It just looks really fast and really weird. Um, yeah, only issue is no snake uh, and no gun gameplay or no sneaking. They try to, they, there's a point where, like, hey, you gotta go sneak that. 
And I'm like, okay, and you walk two feet. And it's like, well, I guess you screwed that one, Raiden. And he's like, yeah, I guess I did. Because they make him sound like Snake, except he's not. Um, he, he has the same voice actor as Raiden in the old game. And, yeah, it's not really much I can say unless, like, if you like Metal Gear, check it out. It's really cheap now. I got it for, like, 16 bucks. And if you like Bayonetta and Devil May Cry, then you have to play it, in my opinion. Because everything is so fast-paced, and the music is fantastic. And, well, for someone like me. And it's just really, really awesome. Now, for the last things here, uh, it's the anime. There's not much of it here. Um, this is a new save edition by Funimation. If you don't know, Funimation has been doing, uh, well, save editions where they're basically, they repackage really cheaply, and instead of being 50 to like 100 bucks for a series, it's $20 or $40, not even. And uh, what they released recently was Strike Witches Seasons 1 and Seasons 2. Now, I've only, I'm at the last couple episodes of Season 1. Uh, they are 13, 12, 13? I forget. 12 or 13 episodes. Uh, 12 episodes each. I, be I believe each. Yes, 12 episodes each. And it is ridiculous. It's basically that. It's, it's, it's this. It's what you're looking at. It's little girl with ears and tail, with a machine gun without pants, with rocket feet, flying around in 1940s zombie, not zombie, Nazi era killing alien ships from like Neon Genesis Evangelion. And it's made by Gonzo. So you know, that screams quality? It's fan service in the weirdest way possible that has action elements. I don't know how to explain this show, except it's $20 and it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. So you got your DVDs and your Blu-rays. Um, my other Blu-rays in my PlayStation 3 at the moment. And like that's the, quite literally the only way I think anyone can even explain this show is just Little girl, cat ears, machine gun, no pants, rocket shoes. The anime. Seasons 1 and 2. The complete OVA series. That's not an OVA. How wasn't this an OVA? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's cheap. And I've noticed, like, almost all the save editions that's come out in the past, like, two years have almost all been Gonzo releases. I don't know what's happened with Gonzo here and Funimation, but like, and they've all been girls with cat ears. To hell. I think the next one is Cat, cat Planet Cuties, which looks like this, except they're like 20 something, so they can be less lolly. <laughs> I don't know. It's ridiculous, but the show is funny. It's okay. It's exactly what you're expecting when you run into this kind of show. And it's cheap. And their tagline is winning the war on pants. And there's an episode about that's people stealing their panties. So you know, that must be the greatest anime ever. And yeah, that is it. Uh, no manga this month, but if you've been wanting to see my manga collection and my anime collection, uh, as of everything I got last year on my channel, um, if you actually click on my name somewhere, you will see uh, my playlists, and I have the playlists for my yearly updates. And that is where I show all my manga and all my anime in great detail. And um, yeah, I thank you for watching. Um, and I'm sorry for you for watching because, man, this must have been a waste of your life. But <laughs> I thank you anyways. And if you enjoyed it and you want to see this every month and hopefully with manga, um, comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm looking right now, actually, if I turn the camera up. I, ooh, really close to the camera. Where's my mouse? I just hit, uh, I know you guys can't see that, but I hit 701 subscribers. So thank you, that is awesome. Uh, and I want to show you my awesome 
wallpaper. It's so cool. And it's got it's got a clock from Persona 3. It's awesome. Bye. <laughs>